you can finally turn speech into text right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro automatically with just one click. And with this option, you could do lots of different things. You could do it to create your transcription, but you could also turn that into subtitles, an SRT file. You could do a hard burned in caption into your video. And I'm gonna show you all of that in this quick video. First, make sure you update your Adobe Premiere Pro to the latest version. I do have a link in the description if you need the latest version for your upgrade. And I have a finished project here. So this is just a one track audio file that I'm gonna turn into a transcription. This is about five and a half minute video project. So the first thing I need to do is I need to go to Windows and I need to change my workspace here. There is one for captions. That's the one I'm gonna choose over here. And on this page, you have captions and you also have transcript. Now you could create your transcript from both of these menus. So transcribe sequence, or if you go under transcript, you could create a transcription. This is what I'm gonna choose. I recommend you go over here and select this option as well. Now, depending on your language, you could choose your language. Now, some other languages are becoming available all the time and it's going to let you choose your track. So if you have a mix here, you could choose that. Or if you have your audio in a different track, choose that. In this case, a mix works for me and recognize different speakers. If you have multiple speakers, that will be over here as well. Check that on. I only have one speaker here, which is me. I'm gonna press transcribe. Now, this will take a little bit of time depending on the length of your sequence. So for long interviews, podcasts, this may take a bit of time. I'll let you know here on a five and a half minute video here on my computer how long this takes. So in my case, it only took a couple minutes here to transcribe this five and a half minute video and he basically puts it into this format. So what you could do now is you could actually click over here and go through this transcript. So you could make correction if you need to. So if something was misspelled, you could go ahead and fix it as you go through the video. So if I come down to my sequence and press spacebar to play, you see it walks me through the entire transcript. And at any time I could again, pause it and make sure if there is any type of typo, I could go ahead and fix it from here. And this will be the entire transcript available for editing. So now you have a few different options that I'll show you. If you press these three dots here, you could try to retranscribe the sequence if you found too many issues with it, for example. You could go ahead and export this transcript, which I'll show you in a second. You could export to text file and CSV file. And you could also do the spell check, which is what I'm showing you here. And there's some spell check settings here that are available to you as well. So if you want to save the transcript, you could go ahead and save it this way. But typically what I like to do is I press this option, create a caption instead. So if you click this option, it lets you create from the sequence transcript onto the sequence down here. So subtitles is what I want. So default subtitles, you do have these more advanced options as well. And you could also have a style. So you could actually customize these styles. I'll show you that in a second. And then you have some custom settings single line, double line, and then press create. And this is gonna create a caption file right here, and it's gonna add a new track down here. And now if you look down here, you see how I have a caption track, so I could actually turn this on and off, and it's going to appear on top of my video. Now with these caption files, you can double click on these, and if you go to the edits, you can change a lot of the styling. So a lot of times you may want a background, right? So you see over here, this is without a background, this is with a background. I could change the font styles and everything else. And I could go ahead and create a style. So if you create a style and you change it to that style you created, you see it just applied that style for me. This style one I created previously in the same option. So I changed all these settings and I went and apply it. And then you could apply it to the entire track as well, which you could see it did automatically after I chose that style for the entire track. And as you go through this video, as you scrub through this video, you could see this is changing where you are in your captions. Now, if you want to actually save this and not as a transcript file, you could save it as a text file, for example. So if you choose this option right here, it's gonna let you save it as just a regular text file, a TXT file on your computer. And if you wanna burn this into your project, and if you don't want it to be a subtitle file, what you could do is go to file, and when you go to the export option and try to export this, I'm gonna press export here. You could also export just the captions, by the way, over here as a SRT file. But let me go back to file and just do a regular export here under media. And with that option, I could go to the captions tab and I could make sure this is burned captions into the video. 
This will keep these captions on the video just like you see over here. But if you're making a movie, for example, you wanna create a sidecar file. This way, people will have the option with a side SRT file to turn that caption on and off. But for example, if you're on social media, you could just go ahead and burn that in and then go ahead and press export. You could always turn the caption off entirely too in the export menu by selecting this option. So I hope you found these options useful and I'll see you on the next video.